so as you can see objective three is brought to us by McDonald's hmm. I don't know if I approve of that anyway so in our third objective which is definitely the shortest so far going to be able to find the minimum or maximum value of a parabola where do we find the minimum or maximum value at the vertex point that's right so uh, the picture is on here of the McDonald's arches because each of the arches in the McDonald's logo is made from a parabola and this specifically just has one big yellow partial parabola and the picture actually looks cool despite that maybe the food doesn't taste so cool anyway so vertex of a parabola is going to determine the minimum or the maximum value for that function and specifically it's the y coordinate if your a is positive this means you've got yourself a beard it's going to open upwards and your vertex is down at the bottom so you're going to have yourself a minimum point if your a value is negative you have yourself a Fu Manchu mustache and it's going to open downwards so your vertex is at the top and that's a maximum point again I'm going to point out that what we're looking for is just the y coordinate so this is not really the same question as asking what is the vertex because I just want the y coordinate of it So let's try an example here tell whether this function y equals negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 3 has a minimum or maximum value well since my a value is a negative 2 what does that mean that means we're gonna have ourselves a parabola like so and so it's a Fu Manchu mustache and it's uh, upside down and oh I've got myself a maximum value and then I have to find the maximum value the way that I find the maximum value well I've got two options I could find the x coordinate of the vertex and I could put it back into the equation and find the y value or I could just use the other part of that vertex formula if I could only remember it oh well I can't remember it so I'm just going to use this negative b over 2a okay so x is equal to negative b so negative 4 over 2 times negative 2 which is negative 4 over negative 4 which is 1. Is that the minimum value? No. We're going to use that 1 back into the equation. y equals negative 2 negative 2 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1 plus 3. And now let's just evaluate that. So I got negative 2, so that's just 1, plus my 4, plus my 3, let's see, 7 minus 2, uh, 5. There we go. So I have a maximum value at y equals 5. You know what? Since I already know this, this can tell me how to find the range for my function. My range goes like this. Maximum value is 5, and then it's everything down below 5. So I can write this in interval notation like this. I'm going to go negative infinity all the way up to positive 5. And it includes that, so it gets a bracket. If you prefer the J. Leno method with the curly brackets, y such that y is less than or equal to 5. Look at that. Very nice. Okay. Now it's your chance. Show me how you have mastered this. Pause it and give that one a try. So were these your answers? I hope that they were. All right, so on this one, my A value is 4, which is positive. So this means we have ourselves a beard. Parabola opens upwards. And we have a minimum value on our parabola. So that's what we're looking for find the x coordinate of the vertex negative 16 that's negative b divided by 2 times a so a is 4 and it all simplifies down to negative 2 
take the x-coordinate, stick it back into the equation, and then uh, do some math and get negative 19. So we have our minimum value at y equals negative 19, and we can use that to come up with our range values, that it has to be greater than or equal to negative 19. So that's pretty much it. Just uh, to make this video just a wee bit longer, um, I'll show you that this is not the only way to have done this. We could have, if you remember the y-coordinate for the vertex formula, which is c minus b squared over 4a. <clears throat> if we remember that, then you can go straight to the minimum or the maximum value. Like this. What's my c value? It's 3. So I have 3 minus b squared. That's 4 squared, 16, over, uh, oops, I was about to put 2a, but that's just wrong, 4a, so 4 times negative 2. 3, that's, this is a negative 8, and these will cancel, so that's a 3 plus 2, because 16 divided by 8 is 2, which is 5. Well, look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Let's try that on this one over here. So the same deal, it is c minus b squared over 4a. I'll do it right down here. Yeah. I've got y equals um, c is my negative 3 minus b squared, 16 squared is 256 over 4 times a, which is 4. Hey, that's convenient because that's 16, and 16 times 16 gives me 256. Negative 3 minus 16 equals negative 19. Hey, a little bit less work. Look at what a little bit of extra memorization will help, uh, help you with. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it for objective 3, being able to find the minimum or the maximum value, which is a y-coordinate, for your parabola. To find that thing, just find the vertex and find the y-coordinate. You could use the negative b over 2a and then take that x-coordinate stick it back in to find the, um, the y-coordinate. Or you can just use the y-coordinate formula, which is c minus b squared over 4a. I get myself a minimum whenever it's the a value is positive, like so, and I get myself a maximum whenever my a value is negative, and it's the top of my parabola. So, see you in the next video.